In this video, I'm going to show you how to create the split screen transition using Adobe Premiere without using any plugin or any preset. So here we are right inside of Adobe Premiere. So I have a clip right here. So I think so one second transition is really good for me. So I just select a uh, one second transitions right here. So here is the one second transition. So I just make a split right here using a razor tool like that. Just go to the moving tool and here we got a one second clip so now we have to make a duplicate of this clip so we just hold alt key and just make a duplicate layer like that now just select your bottom clip and now go to the effects control and here under the opacity we got a free draw bezier tool just select of it and now change the resolution to 100 to make a proper selection starting from top right like that make a point here and here as well and now just move back to top right point here and now change the mask feather to zero so as you can see we got a perfect right here you can also make some other shapes if you want so i'm just go and select copy this mask just select our top clip just go to the opacity and just paste right here and make sure you can invert it so we got a two different clips so if i uncheck this first clip so it just look like this and the second clip it just look like this so now we have to nest it this both clips because we want to apply some effects so i'm just nested both of these clips now go to the effects if this effects panel isn't appear here just go to windows and here you got an option of effects make sure it will be checked now search transform under the this dot we got a transform right here just drop both of these clips now select your bottom clip and go to the effects control and here we got a new options named as transform now just select a position make a keyframe at the very beginning with the default values uh, moving little bit and now change your x and y axis value to zero for the bottom clip and now change the keyframe for a more reliable you can change it to the easing for the second clip and the first clip is out so it will be more reliable so if you want to make it more realistic and animator you can change the use composition to turn off and change the shutter angle to 180 and now same for the top clip create the keyframe of position by clicking on this stopwatch make this keyframe at the very beginning now change the value to the double of default values like we don't need to change this value to zero we need to change this value to double of the default value like we have our x-axis value to 960 if we multiply it two times then we got 1920 we got a 540 value and if we multiply it two times then we got 1080 yeah that's perfect now uncheck this use composition shutter angle and change it to 180 here you go now change it to ease in and the first keyframe to ease out make it at the very last like that so here your transition just ready as you can see just ready so if you want to make a break like that just go to the transform again select your any clip what you want now just go to and create a keyframe right here where you want a break select this keyframe and just uncategorize this position and here you got a two different lines right here and just change it like that now select the bottom clip and same for that create a keyframe uncheck this position and change this angle like that 
and here is the velocity you actually want to make a break now let's preview it yeah that's perfect so here you got an actual break so now make it a little bit top like that drop your second clip that you actually want after the transition and here your transition is just ready with a simple few steps so yeah here is the video of today i hope you like this tutorial if you like this tutorial give me a big thumbs up and comment down below if you have any problem about this transition please let me know in the comment section thank you so much for watching this video i will see you in the next one take care